going on guys welcome to the channel today We're just days away from getting this transmission back and today is it's gonna be a really cool day and it's because we're getting this old clutch out of here so the south bend that's been in this truck is one noisy noisy clutch and I cannot stand it and since we're doing a rebuild on the transmission we might as well change the clutch over here so we're gonna upgrade it to something a little better I haven't showed you guys that one yet but this is this is the throwout bearing. I don't think it's supposed to make that noise. And then coming in here, this is the clutch. I don't think they're supposed to rattle like that. Um, on top of all that, I wanna get this clutch out of here and I wanna get the rear main seal changed. We're gonna do that today. And if we have time, if we have time, I'm going to show you guys what's going back in. And it's, uh, it's a pretty nice unit. I could tell you that. It's a really, really nice clutch. So we're going to get started on this, getting this south bend out of here, and uh, see where we go, see how far we get. I want to at least get the rear main seal changed in this video. So buckle up. Let's go. Let's get some things tore apart. So the first part about getting this south bend off of here is getting these eight millimeter allens out of here to get the uh, pressure plate off. Um, now this is a dual disc uh, south bend and I don't exactly know, but I kind of peeked in there and it looks like it looks like it is a hybrid organic ceramic clutch. Um, again, this clutch was in the truck when I bought it. Uh, I did not put it in, so it's going to be kind of kind of fun to see what is in this thing, um, and to see what's actually wrong with it. I would not be surprised if we have some broken springs or something. So I'm really looking forward to that. First half, pressure plate. She's been hot, there's blue lines in it. It actually doesn't look too bad. It's not ridged at all. It's still got the factory machining marks in it. That's cute. Yeah, no bullshit. It's got the factory machining marks in it. Uh, a lot of life left in that. This guy. Here is our first friction. This is a organic friction with uh, little shocker bobs. I don't know what that is all about. There's two springs in there. There's two springs in there. I don't know what these guys are all about. This side here, this is a ceramic side. These are ceramic frictions here. So, oh, this is definitely a organic ceramic hybrid clutch. Don't know the part number for it, but that's what it is. Next, next, there is an isolator plate. Now, I can tell you right now, I know exactly why that thing's louder than Mother Bear. All right, again, with the flywheel friction, same thing. This is ceramic, this is organic. Put those over here, and this is the fun part. This is the isolator plate. This is center plate, whatever you wanna call it, the floater, whatever you wanna call it. But, I wanna call it a noisy bastard because on each side, of these ears you can see these ears you see that little hole that hole is for is that's for a cushion there's a cushion or a bumper that goes on each side to keep it snug in this groove well there's none <laughs> not a single one all eight of them there's four tabs 
There should be two isolators or bumpers on each tab. There is none. Zero, milch, nada. So, what the noise we were hearing, and you could actually feel it on the pins, it's a little ridge on the pins, that rattling noise I was hearing that was so flipping loud was the actual clutch, or these, this isolator plate, center plate, floater plate, whatever you wanna call it, vibrating on the pins and not the bumpers that are supposed to be in here to keep it centered. So, that's nice. And then the bearing is actually really, really good. Feels good. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this clutch, but uh, short of the bumpers, there is a lot, a lot of life left in this clutch. So I don't know, like I said, I don't really know what to do with it. There's a couple hot spots, not really. I mean, there's one here. That's not really that bad. There's really no wear. But the crazy part is you can really, you can see the, uh, uh, not so much on this plate, but the uh, machining marks. This center plate's wore a little bit, which is normal. And again, with this flywheel, uh, there's no grooves. It's not in bad shape. It's actually really good. So next we need to do is get this flywheel out of here. I'm going to use my impact for that. Zip these bolts out and that flywheel should fall out right on me. So that'll be nice. Okay, that's off. Flywheel's off. Uh, next thing to do is to take this rear main seal out of here which there's two ways to do rear main seal one way I'm, I'm gonna do and one way I'm not gonna do so the first way is to take the adapter plate which is a big ring here that whole adapter plate unbolt it take it off obviously take starter out take that plate out and then there is a, a bolted plate that goes up here and ties into your oil pan right here that would come off you'd put your rear main seal in it put it back on you know reseal all your all your gaps between your the actual plate here and the oil pan and then the back uh, gasket and whatnot that's one way to do it the other way to do it is what we're gonna do and that is to clean this up obviously we're gonna drive a couple screws very very carefully into this old seal and then we're gonna pry it out very very slightly now let me show you why you can do that so i got on geno's and i ordered my rear main seal from them uh it's a mall seal molly mall whatever you want to call it i spent the extra money because i didn't know how i was going to do it yet to get the gaskets for the um i want to call it a plate but you know that piece that goes on the back of the block else in there. The mall seal comes from this box. It is the seal and the installer tool. The seal with the plastic in there so you don't rip the edge. That's gonna go, I'll show you in a while. Anyway, that's a seal, and then the seal comes with this installer. Now what this installer does is when you put the seal in, let's say you put the seal onto the crankshaft like that, this installer is going to go on here and you're going to tap it in. Now you're going to tap it in until this installer bottoms out all the way around. That's going to set the depth of your seal and make sure it's in there centered, nice, you know, all that good stuff. So that that is the easy easy way right there to do it. I'm gonna get the adapter plate cleaned up. I'm gonna get everything cleaned up, bring you guys back, and we'll get in there. We'll get that old seal out, get the new one in, and um, see where that takes us. I mean, it's all it's all in timing. I really wanna get this new clutch in here today. Well, I think I got it clean enough. It's not perfect, quite honestly, it's halfway there, but it's clean enough for what we're doing. 
Uh, nobody's gonna see it. All the big grease is out of there. Now, like I was saying, to get this rear, old rear main seal out, I have a drill with a little, I'm gonna call it like a little pilot bit. Just a little drill bit. I'm gonna drill it in three spots. Being very, very careful not to hit the crankshaft and taking your time and going really slow. Make sure you don't get the shavings inside the engine. Then you're going to drive screws in the holes that you drilled. Lastly, I don't know if you saw this coming. But uh, you're gonna grab your approved seal extractor. Just like that, you got a rear main seal out. Now, when you take your new seal, you want to leave the plastic in, but just to show you guys, there is a ridge on that piece of plastic that sits right there on that crankshaft. So that you don't bump the edge or mess up this sealing edge when you go to put it in. So now, I'm gonna do that. I'm going to take the installer tool that I was telling you about earlier. Put it on like so. So that's the new seal installed. Uh, you want to make sure that when you're done, your seal installer is flushed down on the uh, on this ridge here. This seal, this mall seal, mall ear, whatever you want to call it. I don't know if it was a problem with the seal that was in there before, but I did notice this installer kicked it in a little deeper than it was coming out. So I don't know if the old seal worked out. That's why it was leaking, or or what, but. Uh, regardless that seals in there it's in there like it should be uh, we put it in there dry to make sure that um, it wasn't gonna work out on this outer edge now it's not gonna take long to get engine oil inside of the seal um, so I'm not worried about that I could have put some grease on it you know that probably would have been a good idea but I didn't so here's for hoping that's in there and now all we have to do is put the new clutch in and um, as much as I want to do it right now in this video uh, I think I'm gonna split it up in the two because this clutch it's really it really deserves its own video um, I want to compare it to the south bend I took out I want to give you guys weight comparisons uh, I want to give you guys install comparisons quality comparisons just everything under the Sun so um, you might be a couple days after this one but make sure you're subscribed and uh, follow along on this the transmissions coming soon we're gonna have everything ready in time for it to show up get it slammed in here get this thing back on the road get it down to medford for diesel fest um i don't know if i've told you guys yet diesel fest siskiyou diesel fest medford oregon it is happening this year unlike last year you know with everything going on they couldn't have it so this year it is going on it is at the medford drag strip june 5th and 6th be there or be square it's going to be really, really cool if you're in the area. So uh, check that out. And uh, I kind of tried to have a little bit of fun last year. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. But uh, 
mentioned my name at the gate, and uh, I bet you don't get a damn thing, but it'll confuse the hell out of them. So I'm gonna leave you guys with that. Think about it. Uh, it's gonna be a good time. If you miss it, you're gonna regret it. Let's get this clutch back in in the next video and keep motoring on. Uh, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one.